Today's Financial Friday feature is sponsored by Carolina Trust Federal Credit Union. Oh, there's something so real about living local. About the people and the places where we live. Just look at all the reasons why we call this home. And I'm living, living local. I'm living local cause it's where I love to be. Hey there, you're watching Living Local Carolina Financial Friday and I'm August, Carolina Trust Brand Ambassador. Today we are here in Brunswick County at Indigo Farms. You may remember from our homemade ice cream segment that we met Sarah Bellamy, who is a farmer here at Indigo Farms at the Myrtle Beach Farmers Market. She encouraged us to come to the farm in the fall so that we could see some of the different things they were harvesting and learn all about their pumpkin patch. We're gonna head inside and talk to Sarah's daughter, Sally, and learn all about the things they do here at Indigo Farms and the fun things that they have planned for this season. Come on, let's go. So we are here inside the market at Indigo Farms with Sally and as you can see we are surrounded by pumpkins that were all harvested here on the farm, right? Yes. Which is awesome. And you guys are doing a pumpkin patch this year a little bit different than some of the years that you've done in the past. We are. Um, it will be very much like the one we were able to do last year. Uh huh. So um, one of the things that's a plus is we have parking right beside the field. Yeah. And um, it's a free event. You, you pay for your pumpkin um, the very, the third Saturday, mm -hmm. which is the last Saturday we're doing yeah. it, which will be October 23rd. Uh -huh. We will be joined by Kind Keepers Animal Rescue. Okay. And they're bringing pumpkin painting supplies. Oh, that'll be so fun. And puppies. <laughs> of, of what age, I am not sure. Yeah, but that'll be um, so great. It's such a nice event because it is free admission to come. You can come and take photos if you yes. like. It's super close. You can just park and walk right up to the patch. And I know you were saying earlier, unlike your typical pumpkin patch where you think of cutting them off the vine, you know, that's not really um, ideal for, you know, our, our harvest season. Our here. season. Yeah. Yeah. So by October, our pumpkin vines would not be very photogenic. Yeah. So we have a big field that we fill with pumpkins. Yeah. Of all shapes and sizes so that everyone, kid or kid at heart, can have the thrill of the great search for the perfect pumpkin. Yeah. And then we're here inside the market. Is the market here open year round? It is open three days a week year round. Mm -hmm. So we're open on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Okay. Starting at nine o'clock. Okay. And um, that schedule will continue through the winter. Awesome. Well, I cannot wait to kind of look around the market and see some of the different, you know, produce that you guys have here, some mm -hmm. that you're harvesting and some that have come from other farms, you know, in the area and within the state. So we'll go check out some of the produce. All right. Sally, I know you said that you've got some different things that are in harvest right now. And of course, mm -hmm. everybody thinks of, you know, your typical pumpkin, squash, things like that. What are some of the different items that you guys are harvesting at the farm right now? Right now? Well, our pumpkins actually come off in September. Okay. Versus the traditional October leading up to Halloween. Yeah. Um, what people think of as a classic pie pumpkin. Yeah, like your carving, your carving pumpkin. The carving pumpkin, yes. The ones that are kind of hollow when you knock on yeah, them. Yeah, and you said these pumpkins are better for, like your flat ones are better for cooking, is that? They're traditionally a heritage pumpkin. Okay. So traditionally people ate everything they grew. Yeah. What are some of the benefits of kind of local honey as opposed to, you know, honey at the local grocery store? Well, the idea is that the bees food source mm -hmm. will be the same things that we have allergies to. Gotcha. So the lo so, local honey is supposed to kind of help with allergies. It's it's the allergen transformed into a different source. Yeah. Your body can recognize and it helps it cope with the actual allergen. Yeah. found the perfect pumpkins after searching. Of course, I couldn't pick just one. 
So if you guys are looking for the perfect pumpkin, head out to Indigo Farms tomorrow and make the perfect addition to your fall decor. Thanks so much for watching Living Local Carolina Financial Friday. We'll be right back. Today's Financial Friday feature is sponsored by Carolina Trust Federal Credit Union.